So apparently I'm only going to be filming in the middle of the night now. But today I'm going to be installing my first frontal wig. So this is the wig. I don't know how to change the stand because it's my sister's, but this is the wig. It's from Ally Pearl. I customized it myself. Um, I bought it in like 16 inches, but then I cut it. Um, this is the deep, deep, deep waver i'll put the details in the description i washed her i over plucked her by accident i tried to bleach the knots i probably didn't really do it well um and i also cut it of course the thing with me and wigs is that the way my hairline is set up i feel like it's just kind of difficult to glue it down i have a blow dryer so i'm gonna hope that it does something I'm not sure how far down to put it like like is this far down enough as you can see I'm using the got to be um, free spray um, putting that on like my edges because I don't think it would um, stick to my actual skin and then i'm using the blow dryer to make it tacky so that it'll actually stick if you don't use a blow dryer it'll be a lot harder to um have it have the wig actually stick to your head or your hair i should say overall i would say this hair is pretty good it's just the curls you have to put in a little bit of work to make them pop or at least i had to to make them the way that i wanted them to look i did over pluck it on the right side i want to say it's pretty noticeable to me but you probably wouldn't even notice but the hair it, it's a good um density i would say i believe it's 180 and it is pretty full i just shouldn't have over plucked it the way that i did i feel like i should have made my forehead a little bit smaller but can i do that can i make my forehead a little bit smaller i think i want to do that okay i'm gonna Oh my gosh, it's So with the wig is on and I don't know, I still feel like it looks weird. It looks weird on me. I feel like I should flat iron it a little bit though, but I don't know. This wasn't as tricky as I thought. I think the blow dryer really helped a lot okay so i'm currently looking for the flat iron so i can like straighten out this part but i don't know where it is so that's nice i should have planned better for this video but let's let's keep looking all right so not even like 10 seconds later i found it it was literally in my closet <sighs> even though this is not my real hair i still felt the need to put some heat protectant on it um, and I do feel like the flat iron, or the hot comb, my bad, really did flatten the top of my head like I wanted it to. As you saw earlier, I was applying water to my hair to try and bring out the curls, but no matter how much water I applied, like, it would still be frizzy at the bottom, which really bothered me. That's what I was really afraid of. Um, so, um, you'll see later on that I did end up having to add mousse to my hair to bring out the curls because water just wasn't doing it for the ends. Um, so yeah, you're gonna need some mousse. And there were, you can see there's like a flyaway, um, in the front of my head. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to say about that. Um, I thought I slipped it down, but, um... I don't know, it's kind of bothering me watching this back. I didn't even notice it in that moment. But the mousse definitely helped bring out the curls, especially towards the end. 
um it helped bring down the frizziness which is nice but i really had to like pack it on which is something i didn't like but i mean it's a curly um curly wig so i'm like what do you expect but this is the final look um overall i think she's cute you will definitely see her in a future video um but yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video please don't forget to um give it a thumbs up comment down below and subscribe for more videos um related to a variety of things really i can't even list off the top of my head right now but um yeah i'll see you guys next time bye